Hello, hello. Alright, looks like we are back for more of the Sea Open Qualifiers Day 3. Well, Day 1 of the second qualifier at least. So, here we go. It looks like it's Team Rem versus Team Evos. Alright, unfortunately you guys, I can't show any more of the HY or Mushi games because they have already done for today. So, sadly I can't, yeah, I really can't cast it. Because there's no there's no game to cast. So this is pretty much one of the few good teams that we still have left in the qualifiers and are still playing. Yeah, White Fries looks like they've just des just steamrolled through the bracket. The lobby, yeah, they just won the game very, very quickly. <coughs> Let's see. Yeah, so you have Mineski. Yeah, even White Fries, no, not White Fries. Yeah, White Fries and Team Bazaar's youth squad have also proceeded on to tomorrow. So they will be playing their games tomorrow see what else is there all right so meanwhile team evos versus team Uruso. yes so where where are the fellow weebs at that's not the real yeah that's not the real fanatic you see in the bracket like i i think i've said it like several times it's not the real <laughs> it's not the real fanatic they lost to diabetes well, not the condition the team is actually called diabetes yeah Alright, so let's see what else. I mean, Team Evos, they're doing okay. Yeah, this is the same Team Evos. See you again. Okay, I can't say whips. The Australian crew and Singaporeans, yep, they have moved on to the next round as well. I mean, I don't really have the song title, but this is the playlist. Like, if you could go to the song at like 29 minutes, that should be the song for you. I like it too, but I can't find it. I'll probably like figure it out later on. Yeah, Fnatic's not going to Kiev because they don't have a roster. It's just two players. But, alright. The real Fnatic is Hades. What? Alright, so anyways, Team Evos, they will go for the Cancer, which is Lone Druid and Keeper of the Light. Well, Team Rem will have Venge and Weaver on their side. Venge is always a, it's just a reliable carry in a sense. I mean, a reliable hero in the pick where you, you have that defense swap. Great Roche potential with the Wave of Terror, great stats with natural DPS, and of course the Magic Missile. Although it used to be stronger. Hmm. What else, what else, what else, what else? Well, Coddle and Lone Druid are just really annoying heroes to play against. Especially that Lone Druid, where he's basically the new sniper. Yeah, you can't fight them if you can't get to them. So that's like Lone Druid and Sniper in a, in a nutshell. Yep, April. Hello again. Yeah. Casting really requires stamina. Like, for this weekend, I think I've been assigned a couple of the Chinese games by Valve, to at least for the Dota TV casting. So for those games, like... Okay, for me, because I'm really contracted for another event. So basically, I'm like casting all the way from 10 a.m. all the way to midnight for the whole weekend. Requires a lot of stamina. It's not easy, especially since like, you know, when you cast that long, and sometimes you don't get noticed, and that's kind of sad. But you just keep on going, keep working at it. We all casters do. It's just something which we all have to go through at some point. It's a phase. So Team Evos, they take out the SF Meepo, Earth Spirit, Ember Spirit. These these are just pop stomping heroes. I'm not surprised if they take out the Storm Spirit. Keepo of the Light. <laughs> Alright, so Team Rem, let's see what they go for. What are they actually called Team Rem? Hold on, let me check the... Uh, yeah, they are called Irusu Gaming. Yeah, these guys are just ReZero fanboys. Rem or Emilia? You like my slang? I'm from Singapore, engineer. Alright, third pick, third pick, third pick. Yeah, I'm probably gonna have dinner like midnight. Crispy duck, wouldn't you like to know? Kappa Pride. Alright, so... uh. Irisu really th taking the time to think about the draft and they might actually end up picking a pause 4 right now because Venge is usually more towards the pause 5 seeing as you know when you swap you're just gonna die but they still pick up the lifestealer which would indicate that this weaver could be going mid he could be going to the off lane he's tough here to play against and especially since like weaver is you know it's just counter to lone droid you see lone droid to pick weaver simple but keep off the light that's kind it's kind of control to 
to be here because once you get the mana leak on him, then you can't. Yeah, like you, you basically can't shikuchi around being sneaky. You can stay invis in that area, but at the same time, like reserve time. Yeah, it's, it's just really annoying to play against. But a Lincoln Spear can easily negate that. All right, so life steal the pickup, and the axe will be the counter. So Team Evo's very strong lanes. I like the draft so far the way it is. <laughs> Which Bok Chomi is the best? Coxeda, I'm not sure, dude. I'm pretty sure, like, if I can find good. F Actually, here's the thing. I stay in the east, so I'm right next to Lagoon Food Center. Best food. Five seconds remaining. Like, if you stay along the east, that's basically the food street nearby, around Katong area, where it's like the whole place is all food. Hello, hello, to all of you guys who don't know me. Hades, all the way from Singapore. Alright, so Axe, Call Alone, Druid, what else? Where we go for the Cancer and just pick up like a Tinker. Tinker, TP to the bear. Could go for uh, Invoker, I'm not even surprised that pops up, but yeah, it makes sense. Invoker, Quas Exot, can do it, it's a fair bit of damage. And you go for Alacrity and Lifestealer, it's great. But what I feel that Irisu really needs right now is Crowd Control. Ten seconds remaining. Five seconds remaining. <laughs> Cast the hype. You love chicken wings at Katong area? So do I do. Reserve time. Great great Peranakan food. I think they have German as well, but I've never been to that one. They have like a German bar. Yeah, right, Mr. Chung Ming Yao. Yeah, I, I can't cast the mushy games because they are done for today. And they'll be playing tomorrow. And it's I'm not really sure I get the cast tomorrow. And besides, yeah, I kind of have plans. So it should be going. I think Cyclops should be taking over. So it's fine. These are kind of the last games. We're pretty much at the last. And I think there should be a bit of downtime after this. And if anything, I should be covering a couple of the European games once they start. Although I'm not sure what time in Singapore time they do begin. TA pickup with the Lone Druid. This indicates a very snowball-y kind of thing because TA has that timing window where you need to end by before the 30-minute mark. When you hit that power spike, you need to make sure you use it to the max. Otherwise, TA after a while is pretty much just not that strong against Weaver who may even consider going for a Diffusal Blade this game. Reserve time. <laughs> it is over Aries, Jandi. We'll see. Alright, so for the final picks, Team Evos, obviously they're lacking a support. One more support, so... What else can they go for? Something for Lifestealer. Eh, I would have wanted to say Shadow Demon's still okay, but they really need a bit of a nuke. A bit of extra control wouldn't hurt. Lion, I guess... Lion's a very stable pick. I mean, you can't go wrong with those disables. They take out the Sand King. Makes sense. Unless this could be the support weaver, which Irisu could try to imitate. Uh, yeah, they could try to imitate the Virtus Pro. Support support weaver? Who's roster? I mean, Fnatic? I don't know. It's up to them. They're still, t they're still trying players, I think. Ten seconds. Is this the last day of open qualifiers? No. They still have one more day tomorrow. But I'm not sure if I get to cast Five that. But even still... Remaining. I won't get to cover the whole day. If anything, I'll only get to cast a couple of hours before I head out. I can't, I, like I said, I already Ten have that. And Mineski X is already done for the day. Ogre Magi. That's good. I like it with the Lone Druid. It's great with TA as well. <clears throat> extra attack speed, extra movement speed. Who doesn't love that? So... Oof. I don't know. It feels like Team Evos are going for tanky, tanky, tank. So we've got Ogre, Axe, and the Lone Druid bear to at least be the meat Ten shields in the front. Remaining. Five seconds remaining. Reserve time. Warlock. I mean, as strong as the hero is, I kind of agree that. Who is that? Was it Kips? So someone who like said that if you can't, if you don't understand the way the hero works, then 
there's no point picking it up just because you know pro teams are picking it it's really really strong it's a great laning hero it's got great team fight potential but you need to make sure that you, you hit the timings it's all about timings dola is about timings especially like if you're gonna climb especially in mmr like even for me i feel like i don't understand timings enough but team evos will play against irisu and if team evos win this their dream of qualifying for the regionals at least will stay alive till tomorrow for day two of the second c qualifier Ten seconds remaining. Alright, so gonna take away your cage. And there we go. <laughs> Looks like they know each other. Good luck for Alice. Go go for Alice. What who's Alice? Look, Rem, what? Wait, what is this? This is like the ultimate anime battle. Like, usually. I realize, like, a lot of Dota players actually like the anime. If you do the correlation, you might even speculate that. They, you know, most high highest MMR players. Anime fans. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Fear would be like, nope. Alright, so they've already TP planted their wards. Evil's very, very planning a step ahead, but Tomo Yomaru also getting his ward there. I do suspect that these guys are Indonesian as well, since they seem to know Rams. Well, at least from a tier 2 team. Alice is Grill. Bye bye, dweebs. Emilia. Is still waifu. Just by saying that, I've triggered some of the we of the otaku's in the chat. Pretty sure. Emilia number one. Thirty seconds to battle. All right. So I right, logic. Lone Druid as a hero is really annoying. I mean, he had a stellar Ursa game, which we just saw against MVP Hot Six. I mean, MVP Hot Six is just not the same as before. They have quite a way to grow. They have quite a while to grow. So that they can hit their previous level. The At least, begins. you know, to replicate the success which their predecessors had. Alright, so Ram's in a TA. I'm hoping to see some good things from him as well. To Hoy helping out with the block. I swear, if I ever saw this in my mid 4k games, I'd be like, so grateful to have someone to block the creep wave for me. Good block usually mean gives you an advantage, at least for a tiny bit in the lane. So all good things with the ignite, gonna just play around with this invoker. We're just gonna push out the range creep isn't attacking. Alright, so axe with the coddle. This is what they like to do. Put the they like to put the fast life with a vil, helping him secure some basic lane like advantage at least. Because usually as an off laner, you know, you generally just want to make sure you're just getting EXP. But in this case, you're getting more, so that's definitely a big win. And you do stifle a bit of the safely carries farm. To hoi. Back to the stacks. Help your TA get that farm. And Weaver against yeah, Weaver against Lone is just a big pain in the ass. Especially with the swarm. Marasu. Avil taking a lot of harassment, but still, he's gonna be burning out of his region very quickly as the fast life just wants to right click Swan out of the lane with the battle hunger. I don't think they're getting the kill here though. Inogo is just zoning this invoker out of the lane. He's like, My lane. Backward. Oh, no. Top lane. Open wounds onto Avil. The stun as well to boot. The village is just gonna go ham. You can get a couple of spins. The battle hunger for the extra damage, but no, Han's Revenge will get the first blood. So, playing a bit overly aggressive as Toyomaru, salving and already clar clarifying up. Marasu having a bit of fun with Eye Logic. Looks like he wants to go a bit ham, but he does have his own sentry here. So, baiting the Weaver out, and he can use, just use the self. Oh, I'm gonna try and. Well, what am I saying? South, man. In the middle lane, I mean, TA, he's still getting good farm, so. 14 to 4 to the invoker's 5 and 1. And invoker does kind of struggle in a bit in a bit early. 
he's gonna have to depend on his team to try and set up these you know, kills on the side lanes. Nope, oh, coming again, playing again with the Invoker. Oh, this is where you can't leave the axe alone with the life stealer. Just because now that he's level three, he's extremely hard to kill. So you need your supports in the lane to help you out. At the same time, you need to make sure that at least try and split a bit of gold with the invoker. But usually as a try lane, you don't you don't want to give that away to the mid, seeing as you're struggling yourself. To, you're not pulling unless you dominate against this con this dueling contest. So a big thing I would say would boil down to how quickly the TA gets his Deso or Blink and a lot of it will also boil down to how much Ilodge can max can milk out of this lane. Because Marasu is having a ball of a time. Han's Revenge, getting a blast to the face. Cuddle blast. Oh white blast to the face. Alright, with this Blightstone, he does get some really good damage. Hold on, it looks like they found themselves a much easier target. Sunstrike, no, he's not gonna give it away. He's like, no, nope, my kill. He wouldn't have hit it anyways, it's the Sunstrike. Caught was just a bit outside. And ooh, that root! Alfredo has done it. Ooh, that's a big wave for a villain, but this is what they keep on doing. You get the fast life to keep stacking for him, and now they can just use go back to the shrine. They're getting their levels, they're getting their farm. Now it's going to be a tranquils coming up for a villain. Big. This is really big for this lane. Very unfortunate kill into the weaver. He's going to start maxing out his swarm at some point. TA, yeah, it just wants to keep on farming. Which, this is pretty good, like, in terms of the EXP exchange, so your support who's been stacking for you, he still gets solo EXP. It feels the same levels as Lifesteal, this does not look good. Alright, let's see if we can get some couple of results. Alfredo does it one more time! I logic! This logic, man. Yeah, there is no logic. He's just gonna root whenever he wants. I'm pretty sure somewhere secretly he has a special hotkey for root. Because he's killed that Weaver twice. That's not normal. A Vil going for the TPR. Can Swan get the magic missile? Oh, it was in the middle there. 0 0.1 seconds. A Vil just gets out. Clutch. And Swan now needs the clarity up. Get his mana region back up before he can try for another kill like that. So you can see Evo's this strategy is really working out for them. They found a winning formula, they may be able to make it work again one more time as they proceed closer. Because this game 2-2, two two, oh Toy Maru drops the ward down, might lose some EXP from my build. I don't think they even killed a TA here. Ogre is in the party. Marasu, almost level 6. You can't play too overly aggressive against this. There's a sentry in the trees. Nicely done from the lone druid. But he needs some extra region. Yep, he's got extra region. There we go. Alright, so game went resume. And just checking for ancient stacks when they realize that hey, no stacks there. That's why I would say this. Yeah, when the camp, ancient camp got moved here, makes things a bit easier for TA. A Vel, however, is going ham on this life stealer. Marsu, man. Try for root. Ooh. No way! <laughs> what the hell is this? He's just like, first hit root. Easy. Very, very easy. That's three times in a row now he's rooted this weaver. Alright, so 3 to 2. 
Avil still playing around with Han's Revenge. If he can get a couple of lucky spins, I'm pretty sure he gets an easy kill, especially with this Chop Chop available for the dunk. Ogre Magi, almost level 4. TH just pushing. Oh, see, no, sorry. Clearing out this big ass ancient stack. Whew. T is also climbing up in the net worth. But not as high as this Lone Druid. Top is very, very like, passive. I don't know, it's very tame compared to. I mean, this this is disregarding the fact that they have so many heroes here, but I mean, just by the nature of the heroes alone, I would have thought they try for something a bit more aggressive. Alright, Marasuman looks like he may have just found his opening, but now doesn't want to get too close in case of another route. Let's see. Alright, so an Aquila on the way for your lone druid. The fast life just wants to get the blast out, forcing the rage. I'm not sure if you guys are were tuned in for the first couple of games today for the open qualifiers. We had a life stealer who just maxed out his feast, level one rage, and he just got shrecked. But hold on, finding the call of Vil. He wants Toyomaru's number. He likes old men. He needs the dunk. One more racket, he finds the dunk. Can he find any more? And Swan, he can actually dive this, I think. Is he going now? He thinks nah. Not worth it. Tasty, tasty kill. So you act really very farmed. And a vill now. He's just gonna keep creep cutting. Lifestealer may be forced to go to the jungle. Complete his armlet there. We were very, very low. Doesn't have enough mana for the, ti for the time lapse. All in the TP's coming in. Ume. He TP'd in just for the shrine. Okay. Meanwhile, top tier 1. The pressure is just piling up. Rams getting closer to a blink dagger. Looking to this big boy to get his blink. And that's where we're going to see some really big scary stuff coming out from him. He's going to start piling up the aggression. And Irusu Gaming are just on the clock. But too high looks like he's in the wrong neighborhood. I'm not sure that's the right fountain, dude. You're going to the wrong base. But he's like, team, space created. And Han's Revenge can say thanks for the kill. I'm that much closer to my armlet. Woo! Told you he likes old men. You guys didn't believe me, man. And because they keep monopolizing this easy camp as well, Hans Revenge, what does he want to do? He wants to go for the big tastier target, which is Avil. Goes for the call, TP out. Sunstrike. Oh! I swear, this guy just practices in the custom lobby how to TP out from these clutch situations. If the Sunstrike had landed, that would have been a big kill for your invoker. Who just completed his Midas. This is the part where you can slowly start to catch up. RNG meta. Huh. <laughs> Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Alright. Meanwhile, iLogic rooting in the wrong place. They want to check. Marasu, I think they want to go. They use the alacrity and the cold snap, but nice savage roll is going to save him for now. Swan, currently you get the magic missile in place. Rams is in the neighborhood. Looks like they want to still go back in. Now for the blink tag. Ooh, beautiful double hits. Ah, one, make it two. And that's going to be Rams with a double kill. Perfect with the side blades. Just going in with the right angle in that tiny choke point. Straight down south. And that's where he sent him to. Six feet under the ground. Looking for the root one more time. And that's going to be I logic on another one. Where does this guy even get his root button from? Is there like... Is that like a part of the hero which I did not learn properly? Did I not like check it out properly? Alright, so now they're going to start going for the tier 2 tower. Very, very easy. Sacrifice goats. Dude, isn't it like... I don't know. Oh, hold on. Rams, he wants Toyomaru. Plenty of hate for this warlock. They're saying, oh, I don't care about you. You're not balanced. No one gives a hoot. Marasu man. You wanna chase him? He's gonna just time lapse his ass out with the tier 2. What? 
Wait, why do you even why do you even TP here? Try for Courier Snipe maybe? I don't know. But it's a very, very easy tier to take it out soon. And Rams, Rams, Rams. He almost has a Desolator. Yume is not getting the chance to really get any farm. His team isn't able to do anything. And this is what the fast life just does. Out of nowhere, suddenly he's going to get an X. But hold on, they find one kill with Han's Revenge. Now going to try for Weaver. This is the Uber Premium. Uber Premium. Can he find anything else? Oh, actually, maybe he can. Use the Savage Rod Sun Strike. Going to kill the bear, maybe? Hold on, he wants the bear. The Cold Snap is going to land. But Mercy, man, now that this is let's take 300 gold. But even the bear is going to die. No mercy. And they're going to turn back in. It seems Ram's going to try right clicking away into Han's Revenge. No, nope, nothing else. And the of this fancy new Plink Dagger, they have to be careful. I think they do, they need to like just bear in mind that something else is there. Why is it not following the hero? I swear there's something bugged with the spectator thing. Alright, so Avil, he's just revealed his Blink. Irisu are going to be have to be very very careful. Coddle halfway to an Agadim Scepter, and that's where things just get very very hectic once again. And Han Revenge is showing himself. That Uber Premium was didn't really pay off, did it? Dyer's yeah. Top tower is under attack. I think they want to go again. If they can kill Han Revenge, yep, they will go for the call. Where's the root? Oh, immediate root. What did I say? This guy roots. It's like a Bulbasaur. And anyways, they will get the kill. iLogic on a mega kill streak. 10 to 4, 13 minutes in, and the net worth continues to balloon. We may probably won't even get the chance to get that completed axe by this rate because right now things are just not looking good. Avil is. Yeah, they have that foot on the pedal. They want to go ham. The fast life. Nope. Blinding light. You shall not co snap. Recalls a villain. They want to try to go for one more target. Oh, actually. Nope, they won't find the invoker. He TP'd out immediately. Probably saw the recall animation decided against it. But no, they will find a call into the Weaver. If they can find the blast, yep, it lands. Now they need the dunk. Oh, the time lapse just in the nick of time. Pog champ. Alright, so 10 to 4. And let the rush attempt begin. I'm not even surprised at this point. Like, I look away, they're doing Roche. I logics just get to root. Very easy root. What does this hero even have now? Almost on a Maelstrom at 14 minutes in with the Dragonlance phase and Ecola. So, Templar Assassin, gonna solo Roshan. Call? Call, maybe? No, I heard it call, but it looks like I was wrong. This guy almost has an axe. I, I really like the way they're splitting up the map. Like once Axe gets a blink, he's like, okay, I'm gonna gank, take the lane. And that's what the Coddle does. He literally just farms the lane until he gets his axe. This is the same story again. He hasn't been, you know, Evos haven't been put in a situation where they are, they require the Coddle. That's the thing. They've created so much space for him. He's almost like that hidden pause one. It's kind of similar to what Mineski X are trying to do. Too high. Checking behind. He's gonna get the multicast onto the invoker. Who's still halfway to the eggs. Not really there yet. Hans Revenge can't do anything. He doesn't really have a, like a blink Uber. Like a slaughter. Actually, no heroes here have a blink for him. He just has Marsu who is just expected to Shikuchi in. Yeah, they're too afraid to go in. There's no way they go in at all. But hold on, looking at the axe. He's eyeing Han Revenge. Do the try for a kill here. Yes, he will. Call. And the blade mill up into the life steal. Will he have enough damage? I don't think so. Han's Revenge is not going for the rage and TP out. No spins. He has no RNG. I logic took all. This guy took the whole team's RNG. Templar Assassin trying his luck looking for a squishy target to kill. We haven't even seen a, a golem yet, have we? 16 minutes, no golem. 
And next thing you know, we are, we're basically at the tier 3, 17 minutes in, ladies and gentlemen, in Twitch. Alright, and let the siege begin. I don't think you want to hit that bear. Fatal Bond's coming up. But it's okay, they're gonna take this tier 3 nice and easy. They can't even kill the bear, the fortification will be forced out. Do they actually think about going back in? They just can't find the opening. They want Evos to overcommit on them, but that's not happening. Evos are positioned absolutely perfect. The Vil at the back and the Cuddle. And they have to complete the Cuddle eggs as well. It is daytime. Now Han's Revenge going in back in, but no, it doesn't really matter. He just blinks out and now bits beautiful Savage Roll connecting into three heroes. Tomoyaru, where he actually used the ultimate, yet yeah, he wants to use it. He's gonna kill Tuhoi. Finds a big ultimate, landing onto two heroes in the back line, but it acts with a beautiful double call. Media gonna land. That's the oh, he kills himself with the blade mill. Oh. That was. Did someone all shot that? That was. Oh, that was disgusting. And I logic can't be killed. He has so much damage on the ramps. He's gonna just outright click Han, Han Revenge. Instant mega kill and the dieback is real. Yume alone gonna try and shrine going. Ooh! Last melt strike. Still has the ages and now they just recall everyone else in. Beautiful play coming out here from Evos. 18 minutes in. The Irisu called the GG. Rams is like, I don't care, you wanna fight? Let's fight. The Bill looking for the damage, but whatever. Game is over. That is the GG, ladies and gentlemen. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed the cast. Uh, I don't think we have any other games. I mean, I'll look around for a couple of others, whatever's left. But it's going to be mostly randoms at this point because everyone else, all the good teams have just stomped their games all the way to the next round. And after this, if we have time... Okay, what does anyone know what time the open qualifiers start? Let me take a look for EU. Because uh, I may get to cover a couple of EU games if they start. I don't think so. It looks like we're just covering C. But anyways, guys, yep, that was that was it for now. I'll try to find another game. If you enjoyed the cast, if you have any feedback, you can follow me at Hades.tv. Do show some love on social media. Hopefully, I get more games with, with BTS. Alright, so thank you guys for watching. We'll be taking a quick ad break, commercial break, and we'll be back for one more game soon. See you guys in a jiffy.